With MindStudio, you can build an AI writer that actually matches the tone of voice and the requirements for your agency content. This is a free workflow application to help your clients and your own employees to write new content, update existing content, and uphold brand consistency across marketing channels. Here you can see an example of a finalized article with the option to bold words, to add formatting, to add list, and to edit the document before you export it to PDF and publish it on a CMS, like WordPress, Webflow, or more. And here is how a new thread looks like. You can see that the menu asks us what we want to do, and we can decide to write new content, update existing content, and review a piece of content. Depending on what you choose here, for example, write new content, you will get a different set of questions. Here we get what's the main keyword and how long should it be. Many things happen in the background after you enter these two inputs, but what the user will see, the person actually using this workflow, is just this two simple request. What is the keyword and how long should it be? The backend of this application is actually quite simple. Let's take a look. Let's click on the cog icon and then edit AI. Here you can see we have four workflows and six inputs. We don't use data sources here, but if you want to make this workflow even better, it's probably best to add some examples of articles you've written in the past and either add them in the prompt or in the data sources. But we wanted to keep this simple and meet the requirements of most companies. So this is an app that you can replicate in your account and use as a boilerplate. The entry point is the menu flow. The menu flow is a very simple start block, menu block, which then deramates to three choices. The three choices are linked to the three options we've seen before. Write new content will send people to the writer.flow workflow, update existing content to the updater flow, and the proofread content to the proofreader flow. Each flow is a separate set of actions. So here we have the writer, here we have the updater, and here we have the proofreader. The proofreader is actually the simplest one of the three. It starts from here, it goes to the user input where we ask the user to provide the text they want to proofread and what is the goal for this proofreading section. They can decide it is to fix grammar mistakes, improve readability, and they can multi-select, so it can even be all of these. Although making it longer and making it shorter kind of conflict with each other. Going back to the proofreader flow, the second step is the generate text block. The generate text block interacts with the AI model, in this case, Claw 3.5 Sonnet, and it does this. Here's the text to proofread, and here's the text. The text is coming from the variable here, so the user input is saved in a variable. Variable is proofread text, and then we have human has these goals in mind for the proofreading session, and here is the proofread goals. So both of the user inputs are used in this prompt to generate the actual content that's sent to the LLM, and the LLM in question, the large language model, is Claw 3.5 Sonnet. The reason we use Flow 3.5 Sonnet here is because, in my personal opinion and other people's personal opinion in the company, Flow 3.5 Sonnet is the best copywriter. That being said, my studio is completely model agnostic. We have over 50 models you can choose from. So if you prefer something like Gemini, you can use that. If you prefer GPT, you can use that. If you use, for example, to how GPT writes. But either way, you can decide, you can change them, and you can even test multiple models against each other using the profiler. In the profiler, you can choose which models you want to test against each other, for example, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and Cloud 3 Opus, and send the same prompt to each to see how they respond. This is a great way to see which model you prefer in terms of output and maybe reasoning. Let's navigate to the updater flow. And here we have the basic starting point, then the user input, which collects main keyword, the goals of the update and the existing URL, then it scrapes the URL, and the scrape URL block is very powerful because it also saves the result as a variable and you can decide which provider to use. If you choose Firecrawl, you can enable the main content. You can decide to include a screenshot, which is very useful to visualize the content. You can decide where the screenshot is saved. So you can even use an analyze image block after this to analyze the screenshot and do something with it, maybe include it in a prompt as context or something like that. And then you can wait for a specific amount of milliseconds before the page loads. You even have advanced options to include some headers, for example, to use cookies or user agents. You can remove certain tags from the HTML outputs, and you can decide to use the LLM extractor, which will look for specific points or specific assets in the URL, in the scraped URL, based on what you type in here. Firecore is a very powerful integration and is one of the best ways to scrape the URL and include the content in the workflow.
And once we have this, we go to the first generate text block, which is just main keyword. And the reason we have the main keyword here is that we're using a large language model called Sonar Large Online. Sonar Large Online uses perplexity. So perplexity goes on the live web, searches for the main keyword collected in step number one, the user inputs, and tries to find real information, real updated live information about that keyword. This is very useful to feed live data into the model. And we have the update research variable name, which is where it will be saved. Finally, we have the generate text, which is human clarify. These are the goals. The goals come from the user inputs. This is the existing content, and these are the notes. You can see that we included the update research, which is the research from perplexity here in the notes for assistant. Finally, the brighter flow, which is the most complex one, is taking in the inputs we've seen before, which are the main keyword and the length, and then it will ask the user if they want to use live data. Let's visualize that a second. Let's go back to the published app, type in a main keyword, for example, SEO. We can say that we want a medium length article and then click on continue. You can see that we're asked, do you want to use live data? Depending on the choice here, yes or no, the flow will proceed in a different way. Let's go back to edit AI, to the writer flow, and you can see that if you click on yes, you go on the left side where we are building a query. This will be a query to research the live web with perplexity AI. Again, the same thing we've done for the updater. We then pass that query to perplexity, to Sonar Large Online. We search on the live web and we get the output in research output. And finally, we write the article with this long prompt that includes the main keyword, keyword, length, and we have all of these notes for the assistant. And the article itself is written with Sonar Large Online. If you were to choose no, you would go to the right side, which still does the same thing here and here, which is building a query for the research, researching the live web, saving the research in the research output, and then it will build the article. But in this case, the article is built with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Personally, I believe that Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is a better writer, but keep in mind that if you use a large language model from Perplexity, you get the extra benefit of the model being connected to the internet, and you don't get that with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Finally, we get to the final endpoint, which is a document endpoint. This is why after the article is ready, you can continue editing it and actually making it your own before you go ahead and publish it on your website. AI is a great copywriter and AI writing is one of the most common type of AI service you can possibly sell. Agencies can take advantage of a hybrid approach by offering self-serve AI tools to generate and update content while setting it up with professional services like keyword research, brand analysis, social media marketing, and more. Don't get trapped in the boring, stale content from ChatGPT and build something that your clients will actually love with the model you actually like. Hope this helps and happy building.